Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and earning an option income. Hey, this isn't financial advice. Uh, I'm not a financial planner. Uh, these are just transactions and research I do on my accounts and you can just learn by watching. Okay, in today's video, what I'm gonna do is just kind of review um, what I was doing in November, my 2023 strategy, um, my SPACs dividends income, I'm gonna show you what I collected. Plus, my option income um, is just kind of a, a bonus. So, you know, I'm, I'm sitting collecting SPACs dividends. And then throughout the month, I do multiple transactions. Right now, I'm using about three uh, key stock tickers that I'm selling puts on. And I've pretty much been generating uh, a small amount of income doing that. Um, and then I've, I've got a new stock that I'm selling puts on. That I've done pretty well in, um, you know, made a few hundred dollars this month, um, you know, just trading in and out of that, selling puts and then buying to close them. Here's the SPACs November 2023 amount, uh, it's about $637.68. And these were just, you know, the transactions in the different accounts and about how much I was able to collect on that. So I was pretty happy with that. It's uh, $637. Uh, a month general my strategy is pretty much sticking with just you know collecting the SPACs income and then uh, selling puts so that's because I can do both I can collect uh, you know both the SPACs income and selling puts option income at the same time so let me go in and I'm going to show you uh, how I found I'm actually going to walk through the screener uh, in finviz.com uh, walk you through how I found this particular um, stock and this basically uh, selling um, puts on it. Okay, so I went into the Finviz screener and I'm just going to walk through the different metrics um, that I put in. And so, you know, normally you've got three um, tabs here in the center um, descriptive, fundamental, and technical. So the technical tab, I'll walk through that second because that's the quickest to set and then descriptive. Um, I just go into country here on the right and I pick USA and then I just want to make sure it's optionable. So I just click optionable and then under technical I just go in here and I go to this 200 day simple moving average and I want to make sure it's over price above the SMA 200. So I just set that in and then the rest of this is going to be pretty much fundamentals. And I set in a, a pretty, you know, strict fundamentals uh, settings on this. Uh, not hardly any stocks will meet this criteria. Um, so I had a couple that actually met it that I'm going to show you here. So the PE, I want the price to earnings ratio to be um, under 10. And also on the forward PE, I want that to be also, you know, under 10. And then the peg ratio, price to earnings to growth, um, that one I want to be um, under 1. And the price to book ratio, I want that to be uh, less than 2. So I set that to under 2. And then my price to sales, I want uh, that to be under 3. And then price to free cash flow right here. I set that to less than 20. So I want that to be under 20. And then debt, I want them to have, you know, relatively low um, debt to equity, long term debt to equity. I set that to be um, under one. OK, and then once I have those set, I, I go into return on assets and I set that I want that to be over 10 percent and then return on equity over here you'd see how that just dropped to a much shorter list so return on equity I want that to be um, over 20 percent okay and then return on investment I want that to be greater than 10%. Okay, so once I set that in, then I look at the uh, net profit margin. 
and I want that to be um, over 25%. So I set that to over 25%. And then um, I want the earnings per share for the next five years to be um, greater than 10%. Okay, so that gets us down to two stocks. So the one that I liked the most um, and that has the highest Zach's uh, research rank of one is uh, MTDR. I've actually looked into both of these. Um, I, I actually like them both. Um, the one good thing about the SWN is you have a really small account and you're looking for stocks to be able to sell uh, puts on um, at a real low price. This one's only like six bucks, this Southwest Energy Company. But I'll show you uh, the one I picked that I've been um, selling puts on is uh, Matador Resources Company. So MTDR, I'm going to click on that. Okay, so the key uh, thing that I looked on this that I liked, this is in an upward channel. So if you look at this, you know, this thing is dropped down. It bounced off this channel. It kind of gradually goes up, which I like. Um, then it's come down, hit this channel again, gone up. So you can kind of get the picture here. It's going up and down within this channel. So what I like about it right now, it's at the bottom of this channel. It's at 58. So when I looked at the target price on this, it's showing about $75 on this. And it's sitting at about 58 right now. And you could see if it, if it had to get to 75, it would have to break out of this channel and go upward. So what it's been doing, um, it's been kind of bouncing around. Um, you know, it goes down to in the 57 range and then, you know, like 57.85. And it's been jumping up almost to 60. You can see how it's kind of bouncing in um, to this uh, moving average here, this 50-day uh, moving average. So it's in kind of this range right now where it's bouncing. So I, I like that, you know, I can sell puts on it when it goes up. If it hits 60 um, and the uh, premium drops, I can just buy to close those. And I'm just capturing that um, option premium. And so um, that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, let me show you an article on this real quick. Okay, here's an article from Zax.com's just talking about Bull of the Day Matador Resources, MTDR, and it's showing as an independent oil and natural gas producer. Uh, this Zax rank number one strong buy is expected to grow earnings by 33.3% next year. Uh, Matador explores, develops, produces, and acquires oil and natural gas resources in the United States. Its operations are focused on the Wolf Camp and Bone Spring plays in the Delaware Basin in southeast New Mexico and west Texas. Matador also operates in the Eagle Ford Shale play in south Texas and the Haynesville Shale and the Cotton Valley plays in northwest Louisiana. They have a perfect five-year earnings surprise track record. October 24, 2023. Matador Resources reported its third quarter earnings and beat on the Zacks consensus estimate by 17%. Earnings were $1.86 versus the Zacks consensus of $1.59. That's a 27 uh, cent beat. Matador Resources has an amazing earnings surprise track record. It is an earnings all-star with five years of beats. That includes the years of the pandemic. This is impressive, especially for a commodities company, as commodity companies can be volatile. Earnings estimates moving higher for 2024. The stock is cheap. Shares of Matador Resources are down 13.4% over the last year and are up just 0.7% year to date. But with the earnings expected to rebound, it's a cheap stock. Matador trades with forward PE of just 8.3. In the third quarter, adjusted free cash flow was $144 million. It paid down debt and did various brick-by-brick -brick acquisitions. 
but it's also shareholder friendly. On October 24, 2023, Matador's board raised the fixed quarterly cash dividend to $0.20 cents per share, or $0.80 cents on an annual basis, up from $0.60 cents per share annually. Okay, so if I just click on MTDR Options, I will just click here on Sell, and then Sell a Put. And I'll just leave this uh, expiring date, December 15th, for right now. Um, and I'll just kind of show you quickly. Um, this is the chance of profit. The um, price right now is at about 58. So if I'm going to sell a put down here, and I want to go down to, say, an 80% chance of profit, that's on a $55 strike price. So that would be 55 times 100 per contract. So that would require 5,500 in collateral that would be held aside uh, in the account per contract that I sell. And then uh, basically from now, let's just say um, Monday's the 4th to the 15th. So that's about, um, you know, 11 days away. Um, that would be about $50 I can collect on that in uh, premium, in option income, if I want to do that. So anyway, guys, if you like the video, um, hit the like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And uh, make sure to go to uh, themoneylodge.com, sign up for the newsletter, um, read through our blog articles. We've got some interesting stuff on the, um, in the Learning Center over there and uh, make sure to watch all of our videos.